Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm doing a Q&A. So I have picked 15 of you to shout out, say your Instagram name, repeat the question, and answer it personally because I love interacting with you guys. I appreciate you so much. So I want to take this time and this opportunity to kind of, you know, sit back, relax, and tell you guys a little bit about myself that you want to know. And my husband is just, you know, laying sick, dead on the couch <laughs> as we do this. Poor boots. <laughs> okay, so first question is from at Tradeod. And his question is, what is your favorite ring gear that I have? I would have to say right now, um, besides red, because you know, that is my thing, um, is white. I don't know why, but I love white so much, whether it's my ring gear or dresses or pants or a jumpsuit. I just really like the color white because I feel with red hair, it's kind of difficult to wear colors. So I feel white hooks me up and I enjoy it. The only problem is it does get dirty easy. Next question is from at Katie C. Um, when did I get married? I married Jonathan six months after I joined WWE. So we have been married now for a little over two years. And you guys can see it on Total Divas as well. This one's from at Explicit Angie. And who do I look up to most? I have to say I look up to my parents the most just because they both came from absolutely nothing and built what they have now, um, not only together, but have shown me so much about just hard work and determination and raising four kids too. So I have a lot of respect and admiration for my parents and I'm truly thankful for them. This is at Brandon Rain, and his question is, should there be a Divas tag team division just like the men do? And I completely feel that there should be because I think not only would it be interesting and entertaining, it just also allows there to be more girls on TV, which is more TV time. And I really feel that it's kind of a win-win situation for everyone. Plus, I mean, my tag partner is Nia Jax and I think we would rule the world, but I'm biased. This is from at Tattoo Guy 6. Do you think you will ever be Divas Champion? Absolutely. I think that's everybody's dream when they come into WWE. And if it's not, I think that's kind of weird just because that's the highest rank. And not only that, it's the highest echelon. This is from Tattoo Guy 6 asking, do you ever think that you will be Divas Champion? Um, absolutely, 100%, without a doubt. I think anybody that comes into WWE would be lying if they said that they never wanted to have that championship title because that is the biggest achievement you can possibly get in WWE. So I think it's silly if somebody said that they weren't or didn't want to achieve that title. Uh, next question. This is from at Classy Lisa Lisa. Do you think you will ever go back to being brunette? Do I miss it? Um, I definitely think that I will go back to being brunette. Um, before WWE, I had jet black hair and I never realized how much I appreciated my black hair until I turned my hair or dyed my hair red just because the upkeep and the maintenance of this red hair is bananas so for all you ladies out there and men that dye their hair red i know you feel my pain because not only does this bleed everywhere but hello you can see my roots right now and i know my hair is in like a top knot right now but it's just because when i'm home i want to just put this mess up because all day it's just around my face and i just don't want to deal with it um, this is from Melissa Freak 97. My favorite place to go for my cheat day. Um, I don't know if this is biased or not, but I would have to say whatever my husband cooks because literally I'm never disappointed. Like, have you ever gone somewhere when it's your cheat day and you've gone to a restaurant or you're craving something and then you eat it and you're super disappointed and you're mad and you're like, 
damn, I just wasted my cheat day on something that wasn't even worth it. Um, I've never had that feeling every time Jonathan cooks because he's an amazing cook and that's kind of how, you know, I mean, from my previous video, that's how he won me over and won my heart is because food is my love language. So, him for sure. This is from at live underscore free. What is your favorite thing to do when you have free time? No matter what, if I have free time, I love to spend it with my family, with Jonathan, kind of just chilling, relaxing, um, eating, of course, and just enjoying one another's time. This is from at dmarzo485. Do I have any brothers or sisters? I do, I have three older brothers. I'm Mexican-Italian. I am the only girl. I'm a major tomboy. I didn't really get into glamming and hair and all that stuff um, until after college, after I stopped playing soccer. So um, that definitely was a huge part of my life growing up is just kind of com competition and always wanting to beat my brothers at everything that they did. And it totally carried on to my adult life because even when I'm like messing around with Jonathan or doing anything that is supposed to be non-competitive, Jonathan's always like, dude, chill. Like, we're just having a good time. Like, you don't have to win at everything. But in my head, yes, I do. I have to win at everything. Why? Because they don't want you to win. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Khaled. If you don't follow him on Snap, you should. Uh, one of my favorites right there. Next one is at jjess13. What is your daily, weekly workout? What is your focus? Um, honestly, it changes all the time. My main focus is to get to the gym. That's the number one thing is to always just get a workout in because 90% of the time I'm traveling and it's difficult. You wake up in a different hotel room on a different time zone and you're tired and you can think of any excuse not to work out because you're tired, you have, a, you have to wrestle later that night or other things that come up. But my main focus is to get to the gym once I'm there, put in the work. As long as you put in the work, results are gonna happen. And that's what I've noticed works for me is to just get there and then um, handle your business while you're there so that you can hurry up and leave. But also my main thing is whatever you eat. I really realized this year that diet, even though I've heard it like my entire life, even playing sports, um, you know, what you eat is definitely a major factor into your fitness and your lifestyle. So I've definitely is one of my difficulties is to constantly eat healthy because a girl loves her food. This is from at E underscore E U nice 18. When did I decide to go red? So, the whole red thing happened because I joined WWE two and a half years ago, and when I joined, I had really dark hair. And at the time, um, the twins also had dark hair. So I was presented with, how do you feel about changing your hair color? Um, we just don't want you to get mixed in with these two other girls that are already twin sisters. And I remember getting the call and totally pumped that not only did I get my developmental deal, but I also got this reality show. So I wasn't even thinking when they called me or when they were telling me about my hair. I was just like so pumped that I got the job and I was like ecstatic. So I wasn't even thinking like, oh yeah. So when they said that to me, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. But I had no idea this was gonna happen until I show up to WrestleMania WrestleMania in New York and they had told me before I flew out there to put some red highlights in so I did and When they saw me when I got off the plane, they were like absolutely not like your hair is still dark you are gonna get mixed in with the twins and We can't have that you have to go platinum blonde. So I'm totally in this like rock in a hard place thinking to myself oh my god, I don't want to go blonde because I was blonde in high school Super not cute, not a good look for me. It was really bad. I was definitely one of those girls that was, since I'm Mexican-Italian, um, it was like that weird, like, orangey, chunty, not cute. For all you Mexican girls out there, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, my mom is 100% Mexican and she has platinum blonde hair, but you know, 
that bitch can just pull it off because it works with her skin tone. Me, no. Anyways, so I'm sitting in the salon chair, they're stripping my hair and I legit start seeing like orangey, like weird colors coming because they're stripping the hair color from me. And I'm like, okay, no, this is not it. I can't, I cannot go platinum blonde. So right there at the time, Rihanna was hot. She was like, her, I was listening to her album like crazy. Um, like, ooh, na, na, what's the name? Is that it? Okay. So that song, whatever. Rihanna had her hair red. And I was, so in my head, I was like, oh my God, take me Rihanna red. So long story short, that is how all red everything got created. And that hashtag came because it, it, it was a joke at first. Like my husband would make fun of me because literally anything that I touched was red. So like in the shower, I would, it would be red everywhere from washing my hair, the towels, the sheets, everything was literally red. So that's kind of how it happened. Then the hashtag kind of stuck and now we are here today. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody's questions and I'm gonna be doing this weekly. So I am going to shout you guys out each week and answer your questions. So I really appreciate all the love and support. Comment below and make sure you sub. Subscribe, right, Ignacio? <laughs>